Has there been a week like it in Brisbane? Certainly not for Aussie rules. The first Gabba final, scheduled for a Friday night, saw a record crowd of 22,000 on hand for the match against Essendon. Wallace overruns it. Lynch is there for the Bears. Alistair Lynch, he has manufactured a goal for the Bears. Hardwick from for Marcus Ashcroft and Alistair Lynch, it was dual celebrations as they played game number 150 on a night that won't be forgotten. And a top effort there by Clark. His kick is ordinary, but fortunately for the Bears, it slips through to Lappin. Lappin's little hand pass sets it up for Lambert. Lambert's kick is high. Maybe the Bombers from behind. Hardwick couldn't take it. Lepich, snapshot by Lepich. First goal of the last quarter to the Bears. Somerville, down to the front. Boss shrugs the Blumfield tackle and then gets the kick away. It'll land about 50 metres from the Bears goal. Harvey up high. Couldn't take the mark. Tries to tap it clear and he does. Out of bounds and a free kick. Well, amazing that you pick one out. They've done it just so much tonight and Harvey's going to be penalised. I wonder whether it was out of bounds deliberate or maybe deemed as a throw, but it's with Daryl White. He's 50 metres from goal. He'll put it into the square. He sets it up for a big fly from behind Wallace. Kicked there by Lepich. Four goals to Justin Lepich. They trail 11, 7 to 14, goals 9. Boundary throw in. Taken by White. Fletcher goes short. Ricochets off Lynch. Has a second go. In the pocket. Tries to build it back. And out of play. Well, what would you have done, Lee? Would you have had a shot of your Fletcher 40 metres out running into goal? Well, yes, I, I think I might have put it a bit other players. Uh, but certainly, uh, he set Lynch up, but Lynch wasn't able to control. Free, free, free kick, kick here, sorry, Lee, the chest to jump in. I was out on the fall. Now, Lynch missed one early in the game in the first quarter from this angle at the other end. Tried a check side on that occasion. He's going the drop punt way. He's kicked it very, very well. They like it behind. He likes it. It's a goal. The kick is won. Sean Hart became the ninth bear to play 100. Brisbane had started brilliantly, but paid dearly for errant kicking and near misses. He goes, and the umpire will call Three posters and two shots out on the fall kept the margin down to 17 points. The match ebbed and flowed from then on. In the last quarter, Brisbane moved 27 points up and then had to withstand a barrage from the Wanganeen-inspired Bombers. Finally, with Brisbane two points ahead, it was left to Wanganeen. This is Matthew Lloyd, cover yourself in glory, son. He kicks to the square. They get back. No mark. Wanganeen! He's hit the post. It's a point to difference. And we've got 17 seconds left. <laughs> this is the most unbelievable climax to a game of footy we've seen for many, many years. 15, 11 to 15, 10. Remember, if the Bombers lose and either Geelong or Hawthorne are successful, they're out of the finals. Barnard pushes forward. Hart, the Bears have won! You know, we had to sort of get our minds back on the job from the previous week, and it just goes to show what a sort of different season the, um, you know, AFL football is. It was such a close game, it went down to the wire, and um, we really let Essendon back into the game, we're 26 points up. Uh, around about when Lynchy kicked his goal from the sideline, which was a real team lifter. And unfortunately, we got a little bit complacent at that particular stage and thought we had it won. And Essendon came back, and uh, Essendon, like Carlton, are a side where if you relax for five or, five or so minutes that they can come back and uh, kick three or four goals. And Essendon really showed their class in coming back when they did. Scott in front, Madden wins the tap taken by Ashcroft. Tumbles it back in its own 50. Coming out was Lynch, couldn't take it, but he gets the free. 